Hello, I'm Tanner Aherin with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's closing bell is sponsored by Zoetis. From chores to parasite control, the best ranchers have it covered. Dectamax injectable from Zoetis protects against 36 types of little parasites, including adult parasites, L4 larvae, and inhibited larvae. Outside money continues to play a bigger role in the direction of the live cattle futures complex, especially in the first half of the year. Total open interest, or the number of long and short positions, is one way to measure money flow. In 2021, live cattle open interest has tracked very close to the 20-year seasonal index, much like the futures market. In fact, June live cattle posted its highest close on April 7th, also the same day open interest peaked. Since that day, open interest has dropped over 22,000 contracts through Thursday. In June, live cattle flushed over $9. The most recent C CFTC data through April 20th showed managed money traders covered over 10,000 long positions in one week. At the same time, they added nearly 6,000 short positions. Both changes pressured the futures market. Going forward, the seasonal suggests open interest should trend lower into the summer. If this were to occur, the odds favor live cattle futures may follow a similar trend, at least during the next couple months. This week, open interest was down only 1,800 contracts through Thursday. In June, live cattle is on track to end with a weekly gain. Moderate fed cattle cash trade occurred in the north at $118 to 120 live and 190 to 191 dressed, $1 to as much as $4 lower for the live market. Light to moderate volumes traded in the south at mostly $118 to $119, which was steady to a dollar softer than last week. Feeder cattle were mostly a dollar to four dollars lower on the week, and calves traded steady to five dollars softer. The grain markets have rallied in recent weeks due to concerns of dry weather in Brazil, coupled with potential weather and acreage risk in the U.S. Spot corn futures filled the gap at $6.84 on Tuesday that had been in place since 2013 and ended the week over 60 cents higher. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.